Okay guys, so we're moving on to high relieving. So remember the definition of high relieving is basically you relief it around an object to make it pop out. We've already done that. We do some little undercuts to even give it a more 3D effect. And then we're going to actually add clay on. So you really, you kind of have to look at your pictures and decide what is the highest point. So looking at my picture here, it looks like towards the center of the petals, they go down in. And probably the background would be a little bit lower too. But the very tips of these petals would be kind of the top part that would be really popping out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to add on to the top edge of some of my petals. Maybe not all of them, but definitely some of them to give them, to give it that look like there is something actually there and it's kind of the petals are curling around. So remember anytime you add clay, even if it's just a little bit, you are going to want to slip and score. So instead of using your fork, since this is a little bitty area, um, you are going to use your toothpick probably. Now, if you're doing something a little bit bigger, you could go ahead and you can use your uh, fork, but I'm doing kind of like little bitty stuff. So I'm going to just score it up. And then I have some extra clay here and I've got some slips. I'm gonna add a little bit of slip where I'm adding this. And I'm just gonna make some little bitty coils. Remember a coil is kind of like a cylinder or snake-like piece of clay. And I'm just gonna be doing it to the tips. Okay, if you're feeling like whatever you're doing is very little and you can't get your fingers in there, try using some of your tools. Sometimes that will help. So I'm just kind of laying this down in there. I'm gonna do another one. And then I'll go back and I'll kind of smooth it in. Now I'm not scoring the other side of this, but if it was anything that was a little bit bigger, I would. Okay, so I'm just getting it a little bit wet. I'm actually gonna use the back of my nail. You could use the back of your spoon to kind of smooth it in. Um, sometimes I'll even use things like my paintbrush or a pencil just to kind of smooth stuff in. So you might try playing around with different things. And again, I'm just trying to make it look like this petal kind of curls. And you can remember from the video that I showed you too, the, I think it was like a lab or a golden retriever. They kind of started with the ears and the nose making, you know, what, again, whatever that highest point is. And you might mess up your undercuts and stuff like that a little bit as you're doing this, but that's okay. We can always go back and touch it up, fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. And then I wanna have you kinda of look at one side compared to the other. So I'll have one side with clay added and one side with no clay. And I'm hoping that you can really see how three-dimensional it kinda of starts to look. Again, remember every day you should be kind of working on the edges, going back and looking at little stuff. Because just as you're working on stuff, things get kind of messed up. So you have to go do little touch ups. Okay, so I've got a little bit laid down now. Now I'm gonna go back and this one I'm going to use Again, sometimes you just have to find the right tool to get in there. So I'm just kind of playing around with different things, seeing what's gonna give me that smoothness or help me smooth it in. And for this little bitty area, it kind of seems to be my toothpick here. So you can really kind of start to see it now. I'm gonna use my paintbrush, just move it out a little bit. Hopefully everybody has some kind of a paintbrush at home. 
Um, if you wanted to borrow one from me, I could definitely put one out on the cart for you. It's kind of funny, some of those things that we have in the classroom that I didn't really think about as tools, I can see how valuable they are now. So these are kind of pointy. If you look at the picture, they have kind of a little point on them. So I'm just going back and putting some of those little points on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one right here. And then hopefully you can kind of see the difference this is making. I mean, it's really giving it kind of a nice 3D effect. And that's what I'm hoping for. You can always go back, redo your undercuts. Okay, so look at the difference between this side and this side that I haven't done yet. I think there, I feel like there's a big difference in how 3D it looks. You know, there's obviously still some tweaking and stuff that I need to do. Smoothing it and getting those edges back, maybe even going back and getting my undercuts. Again, don't forget when you're undercutting, you're going underneath, not necessarily down. So I'm kind of making that little area there look like it flips up and a little bit of smoothing. So I'm not gonna lie, it takes a lot of work. You kinda have to keep going back and fixing things and changing things. And I'm gonna keep looking at my picture, okay? So you need to have somewhere on your piece where you're adding clay. And it needs to be a significant amount. So you couldn't just add like one little petal. That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna give you uh, the points that you're looking for. So again, we'll make sure that your pitcher um, takes up 80%. You wanna have a significant amount of reliefing that is high, low, and sunken. All right, thank you.